All right, just gonna be honest, I am not 100% thrilled with what's going on uh, for this review today, but I got a Dairy Queen uh, brand new item. This is the new rotisserie style chicken bites. We're gonna check them out. They're in this box right here. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Now I don't do Dairy Queen much on the channel. I believe, I firmly believe that they are overpriced for what you get with the majority of their items. Uh, so this is a brand new item, rotisserie style chicken bites, uh, six of them for $5. And I'm gonna tell you this container right here, it's light as a feather and um, all right, take a look at this. There you go. I can't see it. I hope you can see it. Those are six rotisserie style chicken bites. Um, there are two uh, containers of ranch. I think they use Hidden Valley, uh, but they are hiding that, pun intended, because that's just a solo cup. And these folks over at Dairy Queen charged me $5.19 for those. Those six little pieces of uh, chicken nuggets, I guess. Uh, and then they charged me 48 cents for an extra uh, ranch. All right, so let's get one of these out. Let's take the split one. That looks like a broken heart. Hmm. So check it out right there. That is a rotisserie style chicken bite. And my guess is they split this open to make sure that it was cooked all the way through. I'm not going to mess with that one. Let us uh, let me just show you some of these. Now look at this square one. We got a Rubik's Cube right there. Check it out. That's a square one. You saw the first one. Uh, let's go into this one. This one, wow, they cut all of these. Almost. Look at this. They cut this one in half too. Check it out right there. They cut it in half to check it. Now I appreciate them checking it, but they didn't check this one. They're like, no, that one's too small. These are tiny. They are definitely tiny, but uh, all right, I've talked enough. Let's uh, eat some chicken. All right, so you saw it. Let's give you one more look. That is one of these uh, chicken bites on a fork. And the fork isn't even uh, Dairy Queen's fork. It is a fork from uh, Subway because I have to film a Subway uh, review after this. And you're probably thinking, why do you need a fork for Subway? Uh, stay tuned. I probably gave it all the way right there. So here we go. Uh, $5.19 with the addition of the $0.48 cents for the ranch. Then the tax. This right here was uh, 6 bucks. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so uh, very lightly seasoned, almost like uh, basically no seasoning at all. Maybe a little bit of pepper. Uh, we're gonna try it with the ranch. Um, dry, very tiny, very small. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna give it a shot with the uh, ranch right there. All right, check it out. You know how we do. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Let's go, ranch. All right, uh, I basically have said everything I need to say. Uh, that second one, that uh, square uh, piece of chicken right there uh, was definitely harder to chew than even the first one, and it was even drier than the other one, uh, even with the addition of the uh, ranch, which was fine. Uh, but uh, the 48 cents, uh, I basically just uh, threw out the window. I just threw it out the window. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this. I just want to end this review, so let's give it a rating. On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning, don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of. I'm going to give the rotisserie style chicken bites from Dairy Queen a rating of 35. 
I would never get these again. That's basically the size of, uh, I don't know, half of a chicken breast. You can probably get the uh, pre-cooked uh, chicken chunks in a huge bag for like five bucks uh, to get this. Um, like I said, Dairy Queen, their prices and their sizing. We all know about the uh, blizzards. You get a small blizzard, it's like $4.50 and the thing is like a shot glass. All right, so there you go. Uh, another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. We're just closing up shop on this Dairy Queen review. Now, hopefully Subway comes through. This is just, I mean, I went into this and I'm like, okay, Dairy Queen and Subway review in one day. I better be in a good mood. I was in a good mood. It's kind of come down a little bit. Let's see if Subway uh, brings it up. Stay tuned.